Hey everybody, Fran here, Ramsley Fitness. Welcome to our second Chalk Talk video. Um, today we're gonna get into an issue that I know affects a lot of people. It has to do with body weight on the scale. I know we've all experienced it, whether we were starting a new program, you know, we were doing it as an update to the one we are currently in. Sometimes it's up, sometimes it's down, sometimes it's the same. I mean, it can go up and down in the same day. It's craziness, and we're gonna get into a little bit, a little deeper into that, and uh, we wanna talk about how that relates to success or failure, you know, and specifically the relationship between not just the body weight, you know, not just what the scale says, but also fat mass and muscle mass, how all three of these come together to give you the complete picture. What I've done is I've laid out three common scenarios, and we're gonna tackle them each using these three perspectives, okay? The first one we got here is an extreme diet, okay? Everybody knows what these are. You know, you might find it on Pinterest, on Facebook, you know, a cleanse, detox, a juice, anything that's like something you do for a week or two because there's no way in hell you're doing it much longer than that, okay? What tends to happen on these diets is you will have fat loss, okay? Anytime that you're gonna go into an extreme caloric deficit like this, um, you know, your body is going to use up stores that it has uh, on its body to replace the food that you're eating, okay? Your body's still gonna operate the same energy it hasn't adapted yet to those lower levels. Unfortunately, it will also tap into your muscle stores as well and actually break down muscle tissue, turn it into energy, and you're gonna have a decrease in muscle tissue as well. Overall, this will definitely net, net weight loss, okay? So when you first look at that, you might think like, oh, I mean, like this ain't that bad, is it? The problem with these diets, the main issue is, as soon as you're done with those diets, all three of those factors will increase. And actually, what I would argue, lean tissue, aka muscle, is the hardest to bring back to pre-diet levels. Your body tends to store fat more easily than it does to build muscle, okay? When you have lean tissue, that actually will burn up and increase your metabolic rate. The more lean tissue you have, obviously the higher your metabolic rate can be, uh, it's gonna be easier to create a differential to actually result in fat loss. So when this is decreasing, uh, it's not, you're not setting yourself up to have a nice resting metabolic rate. The next, so, you know, again, this is, it may look decent, you know, people do them all the time, they're very appealing, they will have rapid weight loss, rapid fat loss in the beginning, uh, but don't forget, you are losing muscle, and as soon as you're done with it, it goes back to normal. I don't really think it's an option. You know, if you're somebody that's done a million of these diets, time to give up, right? Enough of those and get on something that's going to be sustaining, okay? They're there to sell programs. It's there to, uh, you know, get people to read their articles, get people to buy in and try it out. It, it's all buzz, and it's no real success. It's no real solution, okay? So don't blame yourself if you've tried that before. They, you know, they... they you may even, but unless you're gonna sit there and drink lime juice the rest of your life, it's, it cannot be an option, okay? Number two, you're starting a new resistance program, you haven't really done exercise in the gym before with weights, and uh, you're just starting out. What's gonna happen is you will experience fat loss, okay? Um, mainly, if you, again, it's all determined, you know, it's all based upon whether you have proper nutrition, of course, you know, you can't eat, you can't eat terrible and expect that. But if you're, you know, on point on your nutrition and you are working hard in the gym, you're going to experience fat loss, okay? What also tends to happen if you're new to resistance training is your lean tissue will increase, okay? When you're new to, to weightlifting or haven't done it in a really long time, your body more easily puts on muscle mass than it does an experienced lifter who's been doing it for five years, okay? It's the name of the game. So in the beginning, you will have a decently high rate of increase in muscle mass, okay? So what this actually yields, and this is the sad part about this, is that this yields a net neutral loss for weight, you know, for the scale weight. Unfortunately, what happens, you know, before I get into to the fat and the muscle, what happens is individuals get on that scale, they see the same weight that they had a week ago, two weeks ago, a month ago, and they get down on themselves, they think that no progress is happening, they give up. Increasing. You can lose 10 pounds of fat, gain 10 pounds of muscle, you're gonna be that net neutral. Just like we talked from graph one, lean tissue is going to increase your resting metabolic rate. So this person is setting themselves up for some very, very nice, long sustained progress in terms of fat loss down the road. They're, you know, you're, you're building up your, your metabolic rate, it's, then it'll be much easier to create that differential that we need for fat loss. 
So although they're setting themselves up nice, they might even their clothes might start fitting better. They might start they might feel better. That's that scale. We get too obsessed with the scale and it's a very discouraging item if you're unable to separate yourself from that. And unfortunately, I know a lot of people do tend to give up if the weight on the scale doesn't budge, even if they're doing great things outside of that 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 scale. The final one we're going to talk about is the future, okay? And I mean from it's like the advanced version of this. So maybe you stick with your program for 6 months. You ignore the scale. You start looking at a bunch of different factors. You can look at the scale. It's one, but just remember, it's just one factor. There's a bunch of ones. You know, you should look at photos of yourself. You should look at how how clothes are fitting. Can you get an extra belt notch? Those are important for fat loss to measure that. So what happens down the road? Well, fat loss. You may lose it. It may flatten out a little bit. It may not be as steep um, as earlier. Your lean tissue. You know, it, it should continue to gain. You should still continue to add lean tissue. It just won't be at a rapid, uh, at a rapid rate like it was here too. So, what does it mean for body weight now? Okay, down the road. This is down the road. What happens here? Body weight's going to decrease. It may not be as rapid as here. It may be half a pound a week, a pound a week. But this is going to lead to a healthy. And your nutrition for this versus the first scenario is going to be vastly different. Here you're drinking lemon juice and a mixed powder and maybe some a salad. And here you're sustaining a normal diet. Um, in my case, it could be you know 2,000, 2,500 calories a day, all sorts of foods and not limiting yourself. And you're slowly adding lean tissue and slowly losing fat, lo- uh, fat mass, which will lead to slowly losing body weight. Okay, I hope that these three uh, scenarios and graphs give you a better concept of how all three of these um, factors work together to actually produce results or to produce no no result, okay, or a bad result, okay. So, takeaway message: I know it's tough to do, but do not become obsessed with the scale. Okay, use it as just one factor of many to determine whether you're on the right path or the wrong path. I, like I mentioned earlier, I like pictures of yourself. I like clothing, the way it fits. Does it feel looser or your pants loose? Can you get another notch on? Those are true indicators of fat loss. Use all of those together combined to create a full opinion of whether the program you're on is being successful or not.